Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Simon, me, no guest, but we had one. We had a really good guest, yeah. but they couldn't make it. Last minute, uh, missed a transport opportunity. So we don't have anything planned that's like themed today. So it's going to be. Yeah, chip. Chip. Just chip. Yeah. But he, he, to be fair, two, he got too drugged and missed <laughs> his flight. Can't confirm if that's true. I don't think it's true. <laughs> um, but you never know with chip. But I will say, usually, I've heard in the past that he's quite a flaky don. Wow. No, I'm joking. Wow. But what I will say is he definitely he literally misses flight, so you can't, you know, there's no problem there. We will sort it out in the future, um, coming soon, Chip. So this one's going to be like a Wild West, which is usually the best podcast because we have nothing to talk about. We don't even have many topics. It's going to be, what's the time trying to put a straw in something? Bro, this table's wobbly. It's literally an apple juice for two-year-olds. The table's wobbly. I was trying to do it on here, which meant that the straw kept bending. I, it's, I, a, it's a paper straw. I'm going to get one. It's a two-year-old. He just told me it was a two-year-old oh, and now. Apple, not a sicko. You have to do it on a pillow. Use this pillow. No, I can do it without using anything. Okay, but it's harder with a pillow. You have to do it on a pillow like this. I'm sure you can do it while we're talking and not okay. interrupting the whole theme of the podcast. You had to look away there. It's harder on a pillow like this. Still didn't end up messing the podcast up. Anyways. <laughs> they want this. <laughs> I, so <laughs> I tried to put a straw in it. <laughs> I saw a TikTok yesterday, mm -hmm. actually this morning. And I wanted to bring it up to you yeah. and see. It's nothing to do with you. Is it about mind and magicians? No. Oh. You thought we were having a conversation about this. It was fortune tellers was what you forgot. Uh, yeah. Was it that? No. Oh. <laughs> Just there is something to do with that. So basically, there's this woman who what? sued her parents for giving birth to her. What? Oh, no. Not the, oh, well, uh, okay. So she sued them because she didn't consent to being born. <laughs> it's true. It's I kind of. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of. I kind of. She hadn't agreed. Relate. She hadn't agreed to the to the fact that she is gonna have to grow up and get a job and stuff like that. Right. <laughs> to be fair, it's awful. <laughs> it's, it's, well, no, I'm joking. So, life's amazing. That happened a while ago, and she got a bit of like virality during that. Can I guess where this is going? Okay. She won. I don't know. No. Where this is going is she's now had kids. Huh? Yeah. Huh? And the whole thing is like, what the fuck? You have kids. You sued your parents. This. Yeah. So here's her thing. Okay. She goes to psychics who speak to her babies and oh. tell her that they want to be born. So, and, so she's asked for permission. Yeah. So she's saying anyone who's going to have kids, you need to go to a, a either a psychic or a medium or whatever it is, a medium. <laughs> Look, so they didn't try to contact me in any way before I was born. Okay, to see yeah, if I actually yeah. wanted to be here. This part. That's why I sued them. Yeah. Now it's different. Like I know I've said it's like unethical to have children before, but it's different when you adopt because uh, it's not my fault that they're here. Is That's, she adopt? I don't know. Well, if she didn't, you can't just ask the kid. Like, do you? No, want no, no. Adopted? But she she does say it here. If you are pregnant right now, you need to go hire a psychic medium and ask your child if they actually want to be there. Ooh. Okay, well, being- Keep in mind, if they no if they don't, you have to terminate them. them. Yeah, hold on, hold on, okay. So yeah. she may actually have adopted, to be fair. Yeah, I think she did. But that, I, I was gonna play devil, devil's advocate, and I will do in a second, but surely- She adopted. Yeah, but surely, like, if you terminate them, then that, then you're not- uh, So she, what, she, okay, what she's saying is, my parents gave birth to me without my permission. So if you get pregnant and you are pregnant, you need to go to a psychic medium and ask the psychic to get in touch with your baby through telekinesis, whatever it is, yep. to then ask them if they want to be born or not. Yes. If they say no, then she's saying you're also giving them permission to then terminate because yeah. they've said, no, I don't want to be born. Yep. Okay. But, I, I, but I, it's I, the child choosing. I wish she didn't say that part because now I don't, like, I don't like it anymore. But I, I was- Well, you liked it when she was no, saying- no, 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 I was going to say, as a devil, being the devil's advocate, playing the devil's advocate, I will say, she's got a point in terms of you, none of us have had permission to be, live this life. And some people have lives that they don't want to live. And I can see that. As a, as a, as a, I don't agree with this. I'm just saying, as the, as the counter <laughs> I don't think- And then also, and in, in, in the psychic part, at least, obviously it didn't work because there's, there's no such thing as psychic abilities, but you did try and ask. So technically you've asked a question. And at least you'd let them know. At least you said, look, what? I don't know. My, my argument was good until I heard she's going to recommend terminating the baby. I don't think, no. I don't think even, even devil's advocate. I don't think. No, it's fine. I think even the devil on the shoulder is going, you're a fucking idiot. I agree. I agree. <laughs> He's like, you need Jesus. That is so stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. It is really stupid. 
I agree wholeheartedly. Speaking Sorry for of- what I, again, usually when I say shit, I don't mean it. I just like put a counter argument there. A counter argument there. I actually don't agree at all. So the next time you have a bad day, just see your parents. Just yeah. say, you know what? Yeah. I didn't want to be here. But I do get, by the way, I do get that like having to go get a job, having to go do all these things is, can, if someone's not happy, it can be, feel like a burden, man. Like why? Yeah, but it's not your parents' fault. No, it's not. <laughs> well, but it is though. It literally is their fault. <laughs> it literally is. Although I would argue, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Lady, count, you swam the fastest to get to that egg. You That's swam true. the fastest. You chose yeah. to do it. If you didn't want to be here, don't swim. Give up, give up. You may have just ruined her whole argument. Yeah, I have. Put me in a courtroom. I'll be a jury. Did she win? Did we find out? No way she won. It was it was all a hoax. What do you mean? It was satire. I don't think he's lying. He's not even what? But, um... I don't ruin it for a snake. <laughs> but yeah, you can't you can't ruin this. <laughs> the hilarious moment wants the world to understand how ridiculously out of control some people's thoughts have gotten. She very clearly nah, says nah, in the nah, description. Nah, she's nah, she's nah. She, you know what? She yeah. got hated. Yeah, that's she it. She got is. given death threats, and she's like, ah, just kidding. Yeah. Uh-huh. She said she won 5,000 a month. Huh? Oh, she claimed that. Okay. Yeah, no, this is one of them like, oh, I did it. Realize the backlash. Well, don't we? Oh, always- I was just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, now jokes on us. Yeah. It's fake. Yeah. It's not though. That's stupid. Stupid yeah, argument. Backtracked. Um, that was cool. Any more like this? We should. No. I saw a TikTok of a guy going to work in his laptop, then falling on a banana peel into his golf bag and his golf clothes to go and play around the golf. That was funny. No, no, it wasn't worth bringing up. I wasn't going to bring it up. <laughs> since you wrote a TikTok, I thought I'd- Let me, did, I, did I like any other TikToks? Yeah, I, I don't normally like. like these kind of TikToks. Anything new, Jack, with you? You mic'd up? Yeah, no. I'm oh, you are? Sick. Yeah, yeah. How's life? Life's good, man. Yeah. Did, you get, did you get paid the money from the um, video? I did. Yeah, nice, yeah. that's sick. You paid me on the day. Well, wow. You know, you've lost your privilege to be on videos that involve a- prize now yeah well you know yeah. what i actually it's just, the game's the game man i didn't even tell him to, to be open f- any specific box that he would even enjoy i just pointed to a box that was full of cool stuff and, in and the they all were they were all full of cool stuff yeah to be fair as well i would say that i don't know how much you get paid by the way i'm not talking about that but i'm saying also i reckon he got, he got more than cover those videos yeah how many videos are you gonna do if we I may have another one coming up. If I spoiled the surprise, like if there was something like really cool that someone else could have got, and I ruined it. Did you point to a box or just the direction? We were I trying to figure nod- it out. I just nodded at the box. And he went, <laughs> oh. Yeah, but he took him away from his side. As in, there was one bad box, and you took him away from that. But also, I don't think any of you. Oh, we need to remember the, the TV. TV's going to turn off. I don't think any of you've got like the ability or foresight. To notice the videos coming up and then get him to not go. Well, we're doing. We potentially might be doing another mystery box video. Well, who's going to tell him not to go? Huh? Who's going to tell him not to go? You. Me. It's my video. So if you see him there, and I'm going to say he's gone. If he accepts another bribe, <laughs> which also oh, I'm, I'm not allowing him to know which box is good. That's okay, what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah. So he's, if he can work, yeah. but he's not allowed to know what. Because all is I'm good. hearing is just saying, look, you can't come in today, but he's 5k up. True. Sounds like it sounds like a day on. New I mean, Zelda, I, New Zelda, I New mean, to me, you're saying this. I have a new set of golf clubs and a poker table. Yeah, true, 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 true. true, true. I've got a strike against my name now. Yeah. You know, I swapped my sandwich finally, by the way. You're not allowed to know what's in the boxes. That's what it is. Okay. True. Do do the crew get yellow card equivalents? No, we keep joking because there's a few times where Con's been like a little bit late and we always say to him, you've got to edit a video for us. Yeah. (laughs) You know what, to be fair, Con did sharpen up. I remember a long time ago when he broke the battery that time. Remember really early on. Yeah. Since then he's been on point. Yeah. Yeah, he was a menace before. He's out of control. No, I'm just kidding. Just joking. Uh, well, I was going to say, I, uh, no, no, no. Listen, I got rid of my sandwich. Nice. Bought three new edges. Nice. Degrees on them as well. Nice. My sandwich was really shit. Yeah. I used to use yours. Yeah. What you anyway, uh, <laughs> well, we had an idea of that box video because I think it did well. It did actually, 6.9. Uh, is that what it's on? As of recording this. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if I'm oh, wrong. Oh, you saw it earlier. Sue me. No, I saw it on my own phone. Which is now? No, on my own phone. We're on the, on the way to this podcast today. Oh, 618. I think on the phone it runs up. <laughs> well, we spoke about the uh, potential idea of like, what if we got other YouTubers to make the boxes? Uh, so we didn't even know. Yeah. Other around better. What? You can make the boxes for We us. did speak that one. We, we did speak about that <laughs> one, but it was more like then we wouldn't be involved heavily. True. 
but I am free if you do that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So we make a box for you. So well, yeah, guests, so, so I don't know. So this. yeah, so like I'd say to you, okay, oh. if you had uh, 10K. Yeah. You can buy, what would you put in a box? Mm. So some, <laughs> knowing you're not getting it. Wait, you know the one, you know the ship box that was in the video? Yeah. Is that still value of 10K? Yeah. That's jokes. Because four oh, of like them were flights. flights. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I, obviously, I, I can't just go like, here's a pound. Yeah. <laughs> Misplaced the rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I, that'd be sick actually. Yeah. Yeah. And you, then it, none of us would know either. So you all. couldn't get your own box. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vic yeah. got his own box. Uh, by the end, we like knew, okay, we know we've got JJ's box is the last one. And also when JJ's opening, say your box as an example, you still know of it. So even though that's good because yeah. I don't, it, I don't know. It'd be nice for you to know nothing. Yeah. So that's what we're thinking. Yeah. And then we could always invite them down and we could have some sort of twist where it's like, you guys all get to pick one item from a I'll box yeah. or something like that. You know, yeah. like the six people, seven people who do it. Oh, you, you guys- You just steal, didn't you, in your one? Yeah. So you guys can all choose, you all pick a name out of a hat. So yeah. you pick Toby. Yeah. You have Toby's name. You get to pick one thing out of Toby's box. So yeah. Toby's now hoping that he has ten good things because nice. you're going to take one. Yeah, there's, there's loads of games you could do. Yeah, stuff like that. You could do like, you could do maybe, or like you play a game against Toby yeah. to figure out if you get to steal one. What's the game that you guys? Well, you, that, not you guys. Sorry, that Harry and Ethan failed to figure out in the countdown. That was countdown. You know the, the oh VA game. the pint like who Golden Balls is it? No, it, well no, it was like a. Carrot in a box was the original. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking of the one where- They did it with a pint and they were like, you have to try and get the other person to drink the pint. No, but I'm thinking of the one where you, it, it split or steal or something. If you both, Vic, Vic and JJ, sorry, Vic and JJ. Oh yeah. You should do that for a box. You know, like, like do you take this or do you swap it? Mm. But one box could have nothing in it or something yeah. like that, you know? Yeah. But yeah. I'm clearly not in, I'm not really involved in ideas. <laughs> <laughs> We might hit you up in the last second. Yeah. <laughs> Give me five minutes and I can, I can <laughs> define that idea right there. No, I like I like mystery boxes. Yeah. yeah. Man usually left you, should do some, you should do some Pokemon I'm ones. I'm going to bring them back in a big You've way. You've said that for a year. Yeah. But I've probably posted about 15 videos on the Pokemon channel in the last year. Well, while we're on the topic of Simon, well, let's just get this out of the way. Wheel of Fortune was this weekend's video. Ooh. It's not out yet. So Randolph can't have seen it. <laughs> it is. It, it's a video, right, where... We start doing it, and after about 20 minutes ago, that didn't make any ago? sense. <laughs> after say, 20 minutes. I'm like you. <laughs> after 20 minutes, no one wanted to be there. Is this the one where you guys are getting hurt? Yes. And this is the one that I was going to be in, but I said no. So immediately, the, we have a wheel, like the Wheel of Fortune wheel, you spin it. Have you, there was, have you ever seen the series called Wheel of Fortune by Spencer? Yes. Good, good series. Yeah, good series. Based on what for, Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. Hey, what's this title going to be, though? What? Because usually you go like a different title. Do we? Like deal or not to deal. That's copyright. I know. What's yeah. this one? Don't know. Because how can you recreate that? How can you fake that? Wheel of Punishment. Maybe you call it Wheel of Footune. Wheel of Punishment. Oh yeah, that's, good. yeah. that's a good idea. Sorry, continue. I'm ruining the whole podcast. We have like three punishment things on it out of like Wheel of 20. <laughs> I just said that three I know, times. I know, I know. <laughs> and Sorry, I, I would say every like, every like third spin, mm -hmm. there was like a one in eight chance of getting punishment. Mm -hmm. And it was like one in three were a punishment. <laughs> And how Straight, bad were the punishments? Well, we didn't know what they were. Straight away, I think Josh gets the first punishment or whoever was on his team. And Harry's just like, oh, okay, we'll do a punishment straight away. Golf club, squash ball, and it's red ass. Oh my God. How far away? Five yards. <laughs> and Harry's there. Who, 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 who swung it? Harry. Oh, what? Is yeah. And he missed like the first two. And then he, he was like, no, you've got to get hit. A driver. <laughs> Did he go full swing? It's it's so bad. Wait, Harry, he, so he hit Josh first in like the ankle. Yeah, he put and a dent in the wall. Yeah, it, hit, it literally dent. Bro, what? he had no idea how stupid this. Well, was. the ball speed when, when I hit my driver and I don't hit it very hot, very fast comes out one thirty miles an hour. Ball yeah. speed one hundred and thirty miles an hour. Yeah, under the driver. So he so even the squash ball. <laughs> he hit Josh first in the leg, and Josh kind of went like ah, and we all were like oh god, it looks awful, but it might not be that bad because the squash ball is quite squishy. Yeah, but it's hard. It, but it, more than a ping pong ball, right? Oh, way worse. And even a ping pong ball at 130 miles an hour yeah. probably fucking kills. But we we go through all the punishments and he gets back to that. And then I think, he, so it was Josh and Ethan. Yeah. And Josh did the first one, so Ethan had to do it. Yeah. So he does it, hits Ethan. And obviously Ethan's got stitches. Hits oh, Ethan no. and he's like got this huge no. like bruise and- Nearly stitches. Yeah. Fucking hell. And then we, we literally say like, Harry, you don't understand how bad this is. So I pick up a squash ball and behind him from like this far away, I just got like this. 
Yeah. That hard. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, that's a lot harder than I thought. Yeah. And I'm like, so you didn't even know how did, bad this punishment Did someone hit him is. with it? No. Mm. He refused to do it. it well, yeah. <laughs> then we had other punishments like uh, Toby and JJ had to put uh, deep heat on their balls. Oh and he put a small like dollop in JJ's oh. hand and they were going to share it. Dollop? Like a, like a, like a, and then they were going to share that. Okay. And I was like, hey, you, like use that. I was like, no, no, no. If you're splitting it, you've got to have more on each. So last one I had was roll on. That's why my reaction was that. Oh no. Yeah. Like cream. Yeah. I forgot. You so that for Harry me. gave them a stupid amount. And then again, they had to put it on their balls and they were screaming for the next. I bet a little bit feels good. If you a used, yeah, if you used a little bit, bit yeah. it would be like tingly, like, ooh, ooh, I, I ooh, put it on my foot ooh. the other day and I was like, mm, nice. Yeah. But, but on this the balls. This was pain. I could see on their faces they weren't like overacting. You know, a video someone put in the chat recently about the hair removal. Yeah. Imagine doing that there. Uh, no. But yeah, then we, ha- we made Harry do that one again. Yeah. And yes. he did it and started like almost crying <laughs> and realized <laughs> yeah. he had messed up. With the same amount? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he also made a couple people... Uh, Josh and Ethan, I think, again, had to have like a dirty pint, yeah. but like have a big sip and yeah. it was gross. Really? Like I, I genuinely, I wouldn't have done it because it had fish in. Okay, yeah. Like it had uh, tuna. Yeah. It had like- Not a bad fish though. If you're going to delve into fishes, I think that's a decent one to start with. Canned tuna. Yeah. That's That might be top of my like, I'm not doing really? it. Really? Yeah. Tuna's not bad. What, what, okay. What would be, if you had to, what would be your first one? To eat? Yeah. Like a fish finger. Okay, nice. Good smart one. <laughs> like one because that's like, not really fish. Yeah, you can like close your eyes and print it's chicken. Yeah. After that, like a tuna steak. Yeah, like a salmon, like a smoked salmon. You no. What really? When you look at that, salmon's you think, one of the worst ones. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would Anything say, that looks like uh, the texture of that is uh, like fishy. I see what you mean. Well, okay, yeah. Tuna steak looks again like a meat. I yeah, it is, I've never had a tuna steak. Is it not? Is it not quite like steak? Yeah. Yeah, similar. Yeah. Like the way you cut it. It yeah. tastes different to canned tuna. I don't like canned tuna, but I like tuna proper. Yeah. This guy's, this guy's um, mm. well, posh. I'm trying to think <laughs> of the other, bad, <laughs> the other bad forfeits. Like we had one that was just, you get duct tape to each other. I'm surprised the paintball is not involved. Well, that was the golf club kind of thing, ah, similar. Yeah, but we had duct tape to each other, which me and Vic got, which was fine. <laughs> yeah. We had red ass with a football. No, yeah, I've been there. I got hit. It was there. like, that's fine. Ooh, you go. Yeah. yeah. Those other three, I was like, these are awful. Yeah. I'm trying to remember there was more. Did someone get duct taped to the wheel? Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was instead of being duct taped to each other. That was John from Grand. The <laughs> there was definitely some more. Me and Vic got let off mm. easy. Mm. We just didn't get punishment that was bad. Yeah. Whereas the others all got, yeah. Duct taped to their mouth could be a problem. Well, I got duct taped to Vic, but facing the other way. Oh, oh uh, at least you so, have to face him. Yeah. You know, sorry, that's not that's not a dig on Vic. It's just like you know, I'm not facing another man. But if you want to, you can. Um, <laughs> I, I read a story. I heard a story on a podcast about someone. You know the tape you use to stop yourself snoring or stop yourself mouth yep. breathing. Um, someone misunderstood that and used duct tape <laughs> in the morning. Like, I want to really pull that off, and um, it hurt them. Let's say that. Jesus, you know. But um, so out of ten, <laughs> uh, John took it off this time. To be fair, I think it's. I don't think it'll do that great. It'll do all right. Six. But it's a game show. Game I think show, like yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. We Over filmed, time, it, we filmed it before the mystery box. Okay, Same got day. Got you. Uh, the day I arrived from Dubai. Now, yeah, 7 a.m. Straight to the yeah. street. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Are you Are you glad you did it that way round? Yeah, that was my, like, uh, so Tanya messaged me and was like, which way do you want to do it for, like, which one first? And I was like, everyone will genuinely be gassed by the mystery box, so make that second. Because if otherwise you'll use all the energy in the first and then Wheel of Fortune be like, oh God, now we just got punishments. Would you ever do Wheel of Fortune 2 if it does well? Yeah, but we wouldn't let Harry do it. <laughs> the worst thing is when we did Hide and Seek at a Zoo, so I was trying to think of some like mini forfeit games for the mystery box. And then he was thinking of the forfeits to this. And I said, oh, we don't want them to clash. Like, you know, I don't want red ass. So tell me, let me know what the forfeits are and we can kind of bounce off each other. And he was like, oh yeah, I'll message you. Never did. And then this happened. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it ended up being quite funny because we're all there going like, we don't want to play. <laughs> yeah. like, we get to one point where we're spinning the wheel and we're just guessing letters we know aren't there so we don't have to go again. Wait, how's the game How, besides punishment? The game was quite good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, couple. Wheel of Fortune is always our favorite game to play in Vegas. 
Yeah, it there's a couple. A couple of them were like there was one that was like side men quotes, and it was I think it was like choke on rice, slip in the shower, <laughs> which is what Ethan said in GTA. Which yeah. we all knew that quote really well because we were there. Whereas Harry was like, oh, "This one's really difficult." And oh, man. we lit. Someone goes, I think they went like S, and they saw slip in shower. Like they saw the S. Everyone went Ethan. Everyone went. Oh, I've got it. It's choke on rice. He went what? <laughs> yeah. So it kind of ruined it for him a bit. <laughs> I think it was good. This should be a decent video. I, think yeah. it's a, I don't think it's like a top tier banger, but it's I there. think it's a solid. Good vibes in it though. Good vibes. <laughs> yeah. I heard about, isn't, isn't Kalex in this one? No. Oh, right. What? So no one was in it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they tried to get Randy, couldn't and failed and then got no one. Yeah. We actually had Danny Aaron's. All oh, right. So but then I think we had Danny and we said, well, we couldn't have one guest. We had to have two or not. Oh, shit. Sorry, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> But shout out Danny, lovely guy. I think we had him for that. But you probably got him. He's been in loads recently. Yeah, he? killing it, killing the game. I hate these things, by the way. You know this apple juice? It says per hundred milliliters. That's how much you know contents that it's got in it. But then it's two hundred milliliters. I hope they do that. So you just double it. Yeah, no, 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 no I can do the math. Don't worry. I'm <laughs> saying, well, like, I hate when they do that. You know, just just they're like, they're like um, oh, per hundred grams, it's like five hundred calories, but the sandwich is like six hundred grams. Just say how much it is. Just put how much <laughs> it is. You know, right? yeah, but what if you're only gonna have half of it? Who has a half a sandwich? You share it. Then half it. What defines half sandwich? There's two cut in half. Sorry, one cut in half equals two. No, because so if you go to like, say, if you go to, don't fucking do this. Tesco's, right? Yeah. All right, and you buy a sandwich. Yeah, it comes in half all the time. Y- yeah, but that's one slice of bread. What? Each half is a slice of bread. So why is that one sandwich? Why is one side is technically a sandwich? It's not half a sandwich. But it, but like, if it's six hundred grams. Then it's half. You haven't half of it. No, but my point is, right, so you've got these you open the sandwich, you take out both. Yep. This, this half, yep. this is a sandwich. This isn't half a sandwich. This is a sandwich. No, yeah, I get your point there. That's your, a good point. But I'm saying it's six hundred grams. Just to just say how much six hundred grams is. <laughs> yeah, but what what if you were having a bigger sandwich? You'd always do it based off just the- On the fucking packet, <laughs> put how many calories that is. They normally do, right? They do. They, often, they, say, they still they, do. They, they say, no, 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 this one doesn't. They say, they, they, they say 100 grams or per packet. They do both. This one just does one. I'm saying if they don't- It does, but this is also for children, as you said. Listen, man, kids can read. By the way, and I'll still tell my list. You know the, F, you know the FPL conversation we had? Yeah. Even the comments are like, Randy's being so stupid here. I'm not. You're all wrong. About what? About the whole, um, you, you, I, I said, JJ, you were being stupid with that. No, you, talking about you just misunderstood the point. You misconstrued the point. We both did. I didn't have a point. My point, okay, <laughs> just, just, just touch on it real quick. My point, and I'm very quick. actually, you weren't here for this. Let's listen to, no, no, but you, listen you, don't, to you play FPL. You don't play FPL. So no, no, but the, uh, uh, you, listen, okay. you understand how fancy football works. Listen, like listen, the, listen. The logistics listen. behind and it. I've got proof, by the way. I've got proof now. Okay. Right, listen. I said, yep. JJ, because he's watching so many FPL content and is watching so many, you know, um, boffins, he will get disheartened that he's not doing very well in the overall rank and then he'll quit. That's what we and you both said. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I was saying you can do badly in FPL globally, but you still are not going to be bottom two of your mini league because someone could be doing even worse than you are. No, you said the opposite. But that's what I meant though. That's what I meant. Yeah, but you said you said he might do really well in the global one. You, no, that. no, you said he might make a team that does really well in the global league, but do really bad in your league. I didn't mean that. That's I what you said, right, Nick? I meant the opposite. Yeah. I meant, because because and also he tweeted saying, by the way, he tweeted saying, don't read the comments. Because <laughs> they're also wrong. You're also wrong as well, guys. That guy agreed with you. Oh. <laughs> but he's wrong, apparently. No, 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 no. He's right. I didn't read that one. He's right. No, no. But and then JJ tweeted, by the way, saying, I'm going to get top 10,000. Yeah. And that's so, to- that's so well. That's so good. Like, for yeah, example, I know, I know. Chris won our league last year. I bet he was like 300,000. And that okay. is really good still, by the way. Yeah. But yeah, um, top, so I'm saying he might get like 20,000 in the world and be like, oh, I'm doing so bad. But could, so, you know. That makes sense. Yeah, sorry. That's but, what I was trying to say. What, what you to say. said was he might do really well globally, 
but do badly in your league. Well, I meant, I was, I meant the opposite. But what I said, my point against that was, if you're doing well, if you're doing well globally, you're doing well in yeah, your yeah, league. That's, that's, unless I, everyone else is doing and, incredibly. And I did agree with that in the podcast. I was just, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, so, as long as I'm on the same page, because I was actually walking around in life going like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good time. It to was a horrible, on. horrible argument. <laughs> yeah, but it was just on different count, different sides of it. Because um, that, that's what I, when I was saying, you could do shit in uh, global, but pick one player that no one in the, our league has. And that player will carry you in our league, but not in the actual real league. Yeah. So there's, there's some truth to it. And also doing well in our league is just not coming bottom three. That's all, that's all yeah. you got to do. You got, there's, no, there's no prize. There was a prize for winning, but Chris didn't collect. So what was it? Uh, everyone pays 200 pounds to him. But right. I mean, let's, left that, let's leave that out. <laughs> <laughs> put it in, put it in. Put Surely it in. all you should do, right? Because you're going away for it. Yeah, we all paid a grand anyway to go away. So I feel like that's... Just, I would just say that whoever wins gets to like pick certain stuff yeah like i do like, like he should yeah. get firstly he should get first choice of bedroom yeah yeah tr- yeah yeah uh any meal like maybe let him off a couple of the meals yeah so, of course. Oh, i agree like i agree yeah yeah um there's got to be something for winning yeah i i yeah yeah i agree because it's a it's a and also to be fair the satisfaction is really good i imagine but by the way you know in our league um even i, I was only in last year I, not in prior but whoever won the league the year before loses the next one every really? time yeah so Freezy won, then came bottom. Um, I think JMX won, then came bottom, and then Chris won, and well, then Matt and I, yeah, or something like that, something like that. But yeah, yeah. Um, did the, did filming both seven videos in the same day affect the energy? We, I thought we moved on from that to be honest. Didn't so, we? So we, already, I, we already, we already, scroll down, Nick. No, but we already spoke about that. Yeah, and I know we spoke about it. But I, no, you but, were you weren't listening. Nick actually asked me that question. I was reading text. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. I, I actually was reading. Is in for text. Uh, <laughs> How many of the top 100 films did you see? I don't know. What do you mean, what do you mean bro? <laughs> what is this, Nick? What is this? What is this? All right, so the IMDb We've top 100. This. Have we? About three years ago, before we had Nick and John. Oh. Let's do it again. I mean, you did see this earlier and didn't say that. I only just remembered. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, right, guys, we're gonna go through the top hundred rated. No, we're not going to do the top one hundred. We literally said top ten. Bro. Well, come on then. Okay, let's do one hundred films. You want to go through? Let's go. And, wait, what? Yes, no. No, I don't want to do that. No, because you want to say if you okay. Like, have you seen the Shawshank Redemption? Yes, it's really good. Good film. Yeah, but I, I, I never understood why it's rated number one. Am I allowed to say that? I I, thought I, I understand thought that. Again. As in, like, it's an amazing film, and I would say if someone said have you seen it, I would go, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yes, yeah. But I'm not saying it's. The greatest film of all time. Watcher as well. Yeah, I've but. seen other films where I'm like, oh, that was really, really good. And then like this one, I was like, I was because I knew. But the thing is, I went into it knowing it was rated number one, so that okay. probably, that probably stopped me a little bit because I was like, mm. I just broke out of prison. But like, I mean, I mean prison, <laughs> prison Break did that. Yeah, just watched episode one. Yeah, <laughs> literally episode one. Did it in fifty minutes. Did it in fifty minutes. This geezer took like thirty years. Um, <laughs> Got a lower meta score than the other films as well. Does that mean what is a meta score? Meta score is like meta people, is right? Critics. All oh, right. Oh. Whereas IMDb is like a, a database of like regular people vote for it. That's, okay. what, I, that's what I was gonna say. I would rather listen to regular people than critics. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think they would put artsy films higher. Yeah, yeah they, would, they would. Yeah. Godfather. I think I saw it when I was really young. I've never seen it, and I would love to. I've also never seen. I the wouldn't Matrix. watch it now. You went, you've never watched the Matrix? No, none of them. Mad. So it's when someone says like Since Neo, I don't know who Neo two. is. Neo, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Morpheus is the other guy with yeah. the pills. Yeah. Yeah. What, I'm excited to watch it though. I think it would be, you'd find it really dated now. I the had, idea would be cool. I, I, I was a kid once, as we know, and um, my dad was watching the, the movie Matrix and I saw him dodging the bullets. Yeah. But I think if you watch that now, you'd be like, wow, this, it just looks bad. True. Oh yeah. But I can, come, I can get over that. But Godfather, I think I saw it when I was really young. Yeah. But I don't... I'll try and watch it. There's three as well, isn't there? It's, but it's now, it's three hours. Yeah, not watching it. You know, it's three hours as well. Oppenheimer, three hours too. I heard everyone say it was amazing. It's, well, by that, that time it comes out, everyone's seen it probably. Have you seen it? No. I'm going to see it next week. I didn't know it was like, going to be like that. Yeah. Like I, I, We got invited to the premiere. Yeah, you should have gone. Well, I was busy, but oh, you, that's why I said no. should have been like, yeah, um, yeah. And then just give me the ticket. I also probably could have got one if I tried. Yeah. I saw Theo Baker there. Yeah, so if, wow. he, if he's there. Yeah, yeah. Bro. although, you know, I had to get 40,000 views. He's he handing like, out tickets like this. Th- two million or something. Yeah, no, <laughs> to be fair, his video banged. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a celebrity now. Dark Knight. Good, Dark good, Knight, good. very good film. Schindler's List, haven't seen that either. Haven't seen it. Sorry. Yeah. 12 Angry Men, never will watch that. What is that? 1957. Come oh, on. yeah. There's some, no. there's some sort of films that are too old. Have you seen it? 
I have, yeah. You've seen 12 Angry Men? Uh-huh. Is it good? Is it actually good? It is actually good. It's all filmed in one room. So it's a jur- it's like um, jurors having a debate over like a, over a criminal <laughs> it case. Sounds it sounds fucking awful. Hour, it is only an hour and a half. <laughs> it's like a play. It's like a play. So it's all like set in just one setting. Doesn't Jack, okay. the room. Jack has seen every movie. He is the movie. Have you? Guy. I haven't yeah. seen every movie, no. But I, <laughs> well, have you got a letterbox <laughs> we account? We don't take that literally. <laughs> have you got a letterbox account? No. Oh, wow. Those people who have them accounts are such snobs, by the way. <laughs> I actually bought, I bought the pro one for a year as well because my mate. You? <laughs> yeah. I've seen movies. You just, no, you just said everyone who has those is a snob. No, no, but I, I, I had the account. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I'm not one. I didn't, I, I didn't watch any movies, so I couldn't read it. Actually, wait, you don't have the account anymore. You've become less of a snob. No, no, but it's not, there's no TV shows. I'm a TV show guy. Not a I know, guy. but you still used to be like a TV and film snob. Well, I am still that. I've, I've, no, you're not anymore. No, I've, yeah, no. Because before you used to be like, you're watching TV wrong. You're, <laughs> you need to watch the best shows. Anime stupid. And uh, now well, your no. letterbox ran out. Yeah, yeah. And out. now you've seen Attack on Titan. I love that. It's your, great show. So, you know? Did you know that's in my top three shows of all time? Yeah. I don't know why that's getting in there. Don't clap me. <laughs> um, no, you can clap me. I felt rude. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> but uh, no, but I'm, I've always been more TV than movies. I like TV shows better, to be honest. Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Yeah, it's good. Amazing. Yeah, it's good. It, which one is that? Third. Third one. Third. That's my favourite one. Really good. You know my favourite character from Lord of the Rings? Here we go. Agron. Aragon. Sorry. <laughs> Agron's a Pokemon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Aragorn. Aragorn. Yeah, I like him. He's just, he's just always sick. He's a sword guy, right? He's, I think he's like the most basic one. I can't remember. I just knew he used to throw a sword around. He's like... That? He, he Legolas, feels always, the, Legolas annoyed me. Legolas was the cool one. Simp, really? He, yeah, hey, bro. Simp when he me. chucks his shield on the floor and surfs down the stairs on his shield True. while firing arrows, that got me hard. I thought for Look a minute I was gay. Though. Yeah, I would be gay for the Aragon. I mean, he is a good-looking man, and when he opens the door, hey, look, look at fucking Legolas in the back. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> part elf. More. Oh no, no, he's part. Elf. He's elf. What about Legolas? He's elf too. Oh, I thought you were talking about Legolas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, back to the movies. Bro. Go for I bet two. you haven't no. even seen Return of the King. Wow, it's Spider-Man. Have, have, you the... seen, have you seen Return of the King? Yeah. I feel like you've probably seen the first Lord of the Rings. That's the one where it. the ring falls into the lava. Is it the first one? That's the third one. Third one? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> have you seen the first one? Yep. That's where <laughs> Sam the Hobbit comes out of his Hobbit town. Have you seen all three? Yeah, of course I have. Okay. I, I haven't seen Hobbit. Okay, oh, no. that's fine. Godfather Part Two. I can't believe Spider Man across this. You're skipping number seven. I, I actually mentioned it. I said we've seen, we've spoke about that already. No, we haven't. We spoke about Godfather One. Wait, have you just seen Part Two? No. <laughs> so I assumed. But I said I'd seen two. Uh, one. Oh, true. Spider Man across Spider Verse. I haven't seen that yet. The first the new one. one. That's the new that's one. Twenty twenty three. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't either, and I hate the it. The first one. I can't go. It was. It came out. Uh, like. Let me guess. You watched it on the plane. No, I haven't watched it. I just said that. The first one? No, I went and saw that. Okay. Amazing. Oh yeah, you did. I watched that in the cinema and it was yeah, like, it was sick. Mm. But uh, that one came out the week of my wedding. Oh, so I was yeah, in true. Italy. Yeah, that's him. And we got, I got invited to the premiere, like oh, a private oh, screening, oh. but it was the day I left to to go to Italy. It's fuming. Freeze was saying as well, like he always, always, has always said no to like premieres, but like Oppenheimer came through and was like, oh, no, no, yes. Yeah. And I, I'm like, you know what? I might start going to a few. Just yeah, to be I stopped getting asked because yeah, I said yeah. no. And then this one came up and I was literally like, I'll be there. I'll be there 100%. I'm getting married. <laughs> yeah, that's Stupid that's wedding. Annoying. Pulp Fiction obviously is goaded. Pulp Fiction, I've seen it when I was very young. That's one to watch. Yeah. For sure. Is that the one with the three boob woman? Three boob woman? No. One boob woman. Three boob woman. I think when you're thinking of it's like a total porno. Re- total Recall. Total right? Recall I'm oh. thinking of. Nah, Which Pulp one's Pulp Fiction? It's with um, Samuel Jackson and John Travolta. Royale with cheese. Yeah, Royale with cheese. The, uh, I feel like I've watched it with my oldest brother. But yeah, probably have have. yeah, I've watched it with my oldest brother, but I couldn't. Samuel L. Jackson yeah. Big speech about, um, yeah, yeah, couldn't. This couldn't is one. Tell you this is one where it's not too old, by the way. You know, how you're talking about like uh, Shawshank. This one's not too old, although they probably come out at the same time. I was going to say this. Anyway, let's not watch the whole movie, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <I'm- laughs> and then Inception. Number oh 10. yeah, yeah. Still don't get it, but it was all right. <laughs> it was all right. I think this is another one, by the way, that the amount of people would put it number one. No, I do like it. But I, you know, at the time, it was a big thing. Like, do you get it or not? And I remember, I remember, I remember like, I just feel like everyone was like, really. You know, you know the people who love films, right? And like, 
Yeah, Jack. But I'm saying like back in the day, I know this because the time it came out was when I was like a youth, right? And um, youth. If, you, if people want you to say you don't get it, and like, oh my God, you don't get Inception. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like, I hate them people. I hate them so much. Um, I think it is amazing, but I don't, I, I don't think it's even near my top five. Really? Do you Where's, like, um, what's the other one that they did? Shutter Island. No, no, no. Uh, the space one. Oh, Interstellar. I haven't seen it. Still haven't seen it. Nah, I should watch that one. We've spoken about it multiple times <laughs> and I've said I haven't seen it and it keeps coming up. On, We've done this podcast like four years it's now. On the, it's on the plane every time I go. And I'm like, everyone goes, no, no, you can't watch it on a yeah, plane. Yeah, don't watch it on yeah, a plane. Yeah, don't watch it on a plane. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you watch on a plane? Young Sheldon, you can. No, you can. I watch. If you want to, you can. There's a new season just came out. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to watch it on a plane, you can. No, I watch the shittiest movies on planes. I watch like Step Brothers or something on a plane. You know what I watch on No, plane? probably the one I watched recently was the, it was might be the worst film I've ever seen in my life. It was- um, Cocaine it was, Bear. No, it was- Apparently some, good. Uh, yeah, I've heard that. Some kid who can like see- uh, he can like touch something and then see into the future or like where that person's gone X-Men. or something like that. Old, no, old film, new film. N- quite new. Ooh, Jack's playing I'll be, game, to, yeah. I'll be able to. <laughs> you, I, you won't have seen it. But what were you going to say? I was going to say I was on a plane once in. Uh, it was on the way to Vegas somewhere, so business class, and I was too scared to ask for headphones. Um, so I watched Conor McGregor documentary on mute with no subtitles. I was just guessing what was happening, and I really enjoyed it. Did you have subs? No, 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 no subtitles. I also watched um, Alexander McQueen documentary. Uh, also on, on mute. With no, with no subs, yeah. yeah. I was guessing what happened there. It looked good as well. I've Forrest really... Gump, we've seen that. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. I haven't seen that one. I really want to know what this film is because really. it's genuinely the worst film I've ever seen. Fight Club, you've seen that? Fight Club, love that film. Good film, Brad Pitt, right? The Good, the Bad, Ugly, again, old. Have you seen, seen that one? one? Is that good as well? That's good, long. Is that also sat in one room? Uh, no, no, that one's set in a lot of places, actually. Uh, Which one? Good, the Bad and the Ugly. Oh, yeah. It's like a famous Western. Isn't that crazy? Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Isn't that crazy how that came out in 2002? Uh, uh, and obviously the, two, two. the America yeah, problem. That's the trio at the end where they do the... You know, the buildings. Interstellar's there as well. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. You seen that one? There's no way. Yeah, Have you? Yeah. Is that, is, that, is that good? Uh, that is a good film. Jack Nicholson in a mental Oh, that one actually might be good then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's in, he's in colour. He pleads, he's sane, but he yeah. pleads insanity at like, a criminal when he's in- Yeah, in, I've uh, seen that. Court. Yeah, so that he goes to a mental institute instead of prison. Oh, nice. And then he's just stuck with a load of crazy people. Give that, oh. In a mental institute. Give that a watch. All good right. fellas, no. Matrix. Yes. We spoke about that. Do you want to, are you going to actually go through the hundred? Let's keep going. Just Why? A more. Let's go like <laughs> 30 or 35. What a random amount. Um, let's go a few more, man. I'm enjoying it. Just yes, no. Yes, no. Okay. Star go Wars. For it. Empire Strikes Back. Uh, which one's that? 1980? Middle one. God, you know everything. Um, I don't know if I've seen that. They all blend into one and I've, honestly, I've got so bored of Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, Darth Vader, I no. One. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've seen that. Or you've just seen a TikTok of it. No, I've seen that one. Hmm, right. Same I saw, I saw one. all the Star Wars up to the one where there was Darth Maul and he had the red face. And that was sick too, though. Like looking back, I just oh, don't care sick. about Darth Maul's sick, right? He's he's actually sick. He looked cool. He has got a double-ended sword. Yeah, and he had like spikes on his head. Yeah, what some a cool shit. guy. My brother uh, called Paul, and I used to call him Darth Paul. <laughs> uh, same Brat Ryan. Yeah, seen that. Ten minute yeah. two. No, seven. Yeah. No, but I know yeah. they go. What's in the box? Seen all of them. Um, What's in the box? Silence of the Lambs. No, read about it though in school. Green Mile, great, great film. Great film, actually. Yeah, Tear Joker. A New Hope? Yeah, no, actually, yeah. yeah, I thought that was a new one. Nice. Spirited Away. Not seen. That's, that, that was the only anime I had, I had ever seen. City of God, haven't seen that. Not seen. Maybe Toei has. Uh, Life is <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Maybe Life is Beautiful. Oh, yeah, this is shit. Yeah. Now you're going into like artsy old films. Yeah, I don't watch. I, I think old films have. I think these are voted by nostalgia merchants. Yeah, I agree. So like, Samurai, though, is good, though. It is really good. I've heard about that. It's a Wonderful Life, 1946. Well, that's everyone just coming out of the war going like, yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, that's the first time film were invented. The Christmas one. Christmas film though. All oh, right. right. Yeah. yeah? What's your point? <laughs> Christmas isn't black and white anymore. No, that's true. <laughs> also, Christmas- is that, film, is that film black and white? Yeah. You can must argue. be right. So why is there color on the thumbnail? You can see it in color. Can you? They've released like a color version. Because wow. remember, Life was called in color. I, to me, it wasn't. It. <laughs> I didn't know. My dad told me that. Um, like the was war young, was fought in black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And low key, some greens. Yeah, and, and frame rate as well was awful. No, frame rate was good. Was it? Yeah. It was too fast. What? What? <laughs> what are you on about? I think, to be fair, when you look at all the videos, everyone's walking really fast. I think it was actually in like high frames <laughs> or low frames. 
<laughs> what are you on about? I don't, I don't know. What are you talking about? Maybe it was like shot in low frames, but then frame scaled up TV. So it, I swear, put it, put it, yeah. Oh, what, everyone moves, moves really fast. <laughs> Look at him. He's moving fast. Look what you moving fast. <laughs> He's going so fast. <laughs> yeah, isn't it, I reckon it was filmed in low frames and sped up. This is how I imagine James Frames filming on his weekends. <laughs> <laughs> like he'll be like, oh, I'm gonna take the, you don't the want old to know what camera. Out. Is at weekends, man. Let's, 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 let's leave it like that. Okay. Well, what we got? What else we got? Yeah, now I'm interested. In what? Oh, I, thought, I thought you. <laughs> I thought you were saying more films, but you don't mean that. No. <laughs> I was excited to do more films. Again. Well, we got some unpopular opinions from the Instagram. Yeah, you lot on Instagram. So this is from the this is from the fans of what's good, by the way. And by the way, we were crunching some numbers. Our podcast gets bare um, like views and stuff, so thanks for that. And also keep listening to us on Spotify and subscribe and subscribe because we actually need a we need a big push to hit a million. Five hundred a day, five hundred a day. But remember, if you all just push once, that makes the daily average less. Yeah, you know, just do one. Just put everyone subscribe now, and then we have, have to get hundred a day. Yeah, or just go just go on your mum's computer right now. Uh, yeah, Click we don't subscribe. care if you're real. <laughs> and we also we just we just want the plaque. No, we don't want bots though. Don't, don't. We just want the plaque. Yeah, don't like, we'll happily hit it, get the plaque, and go back under. We, yeah, just, yeah. we just want the plaque. The plaque and the uh, studio, new studio. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, to intro this in, guys, this is from you guys. Yeah, so keep that in mind. So if anything weird happens here, it's all on you. Yeah, even if Randy says something stupid. I haven't, I haven't put a reply in. <laughs> okay, well, Aiden Yu says, oh. Oh. parties are overrated highly. Ooh. Depends what they are and who they're for and who's going. I love a good party when it's when everyone so that you're wedding when yeah. you know everyone there is like a safety person, you know. Yeah, I get that. That's the thing. A good party is it's not rated highly enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I do understand. I agree. As a well. random party. Yeah, and I mean, you, you don't know until you're there. There's no way of knowing until after the party. You're like, damn, that was a good party, man. Yeah. And also, I don't ever call anything party to you. No, it's like a get together. People who leave parties without saying goodbye save up to two days per year. I've <sighs> started doing this. What, just leaving? Yeah. Because back in the day, I was like, see, back in the day, I was coming from Nottingham, right? Driving all the way down. I'm going to say bye to you all, or say. Now I'm like, you know what? No one's going to go like, oh, I wonder where Randy went. So I just go home. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow. Fair, but sometimes we just think we've lost you. <laughs> like if we did a troop's meal. Oh, no, of course. And you just disappear. No, no, I would never. Everyone's never, like, oh, Randy's probably. Sorry, no, meals like that, I would never not say bye. I'm saying more like, if it's like a silent party, I'm not going to come like, see everyone. I'm just going to yeah. go, you know? I know what you mean. Also, no, okay, how about this? If I walk past someone, I'll say bye. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not you gonna leave go. and say bye to the people that are on the way. Yes. I'm not going to yeah. go and get a list and be like, okay, done this person. Done that I get person. that. It's called a French exit. A French exit? Yeah. Or an Irish goodbye. I'll go with that one. Okay. Irish goodbye sounds sexual. Well, a French exit doesn't. French exit sounds Sounds worse. like an arsehole. A French exit sounds like an urban uh, dictionary, like Scotch bonnet type thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ost. Ost. Yeah. Ost. Says pineapple best pizza topping. I've I said it before and I'll say it again. I hate this discussion. Uh, bro, just if it's on it, just eat it. Yeah, and if you like it, cool. If you don't like it, don't even. Yeah. Like, what, if it's on a pizza and someone goes, Do you want a slice of this? and it's on there, I'll eat it. There are way worse things to be on a pizza than pineapple. Yeah. And also, by the way, people heat, up, people, heat, people heat up pineapple and eat it off a stick. Yeah. It's not the weirdest thing. It's, it's, when people say pineapple's the worst pizza topping, that's just outrageous. Yeah, like let's talk about grapes on a pizza. That, that would make sense. Come. Some people would like that. Maybe. Not me. I, I, that sounds like I was. Okay. Like, sorry, what one? Literal poo. It's gross. It's, that's worse than pineapple. Yeah, it is worse. Exactly. Also, sometimes you get the meat feast ones and it looks like a little bit of poo. It does. Yeah. It looks like a rabbit, rabbit droppings. Rabbit poo, yeah. 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 Or, or hair. I saw him, I saw, by the way, I went to play golf the other day. Yeah. Deer's running around. Nice. <gasps> I almost hit one the other day. We it literally With jumped out in front of me. Yeah. yeah. And then jolted back in just before. And I had a heart attack. That can, that can really damage the car, you know? Yeah, but it didn't hit. No. Yeah. Yeah. And also, it kills a deer. Yeah, I didn't hit it. Just to clear that up. <laughs> well, I, but me and Tyler were talking about this. If you mm. hit, okay, you're driving tomorrow. Yeah, you're driving, right? Yeah. Deer runs out. Boom. You hit it. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, call the insurance company. <laughs> what to fix your car? You well, yeah, it's an accident. You what about that. the deer? You probably just grab it by the legs, check it out. Just off the road. I mean, to be honest, yeah, like, honestly, like what, honestly not not in terms of animal cruelty, but like, what else are you gonna do? Because you're not meant to call, like, you're not meant to call. The animal police. services or anything oh, right. unless it's a dog so even if you hit a cat you're not meant to jj watch out yeah so jj i might just <laughs> come down your end <laughs> oh <laughs> i he thought it was the day and i really wanted to um oh no i did reply that 
<laughs> he tweeted hey world and you said i'm gonna hit your cat with the car i was on threads he put a picture of his cat i'm like hope he gets back soon man <laughs> no that's because of me though oh is it that's because he put a picture of boo yeah and oh yeah i replied to it yeah. saying every time i post a picture of the dog you roast me and now he posts a picture of his cat and uh, yeah, nothing. Yeah. So and then I put it. the Kai Senat where he's going, Dick Rider. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But no, to be fair, it's only because like, you, I said the MVC thing, you said. Yeah. And now I went to like, look, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Um, next one. Needed a bit of, you know, sprucing up. That's yeah. why. Lag 9000. I really dislike summer and it's heat. I'd much rather walk in the, the rain than a hot summer day. Well, it depends. There's, there's levels to this. Like torrential rain, no, it's the worst thing. But that light rain that we had when we played golf that time was fine. It was really barely yeah. not even getting wet. I would love that. And then again, it's a nice sunny day, like twenty degrees, really nice. You know, you're getting warm, you get a bit of a tan. You know, it's just very comfortable. Um, but then, yeah, like forty degrees, awful. You know, when it's like stupidly hot yeah. and it's uncomfortable. Yeah. That or like really bad rain every day for the next year. Stupidly hot. Really. I I, I would go stupidly cold over i'd rather go like estonia in minus 20 and wear like coats and hats and be out and blow into the air and see steam come out like, I'm not, sorry <laughs> I know I that was going. <laughs> yeah. i'd rather blow but I yeah. <laughs> yeah um no but i'd rather that i'd rather like cold icy snowy than rain rain's annoying because it stops you doing stuff so just yeah, snow, okay, yeah. so just snow. i mean cold you know. i get that i get that but I like, I, yeah I'm, i'd rather a cold day than a hot day but i'd rather a very like you know warm day over a cold day too like that you'd wear that well that was just because it was a funeral <laughs> for a hamster yeah you're t- you know your usual well, they were like dress smart and at the time I, I couldn't fit in my actual smart clothes so i thought let's whack on this <laughs> with some crocs on and you know it was funny i know a lot of people that dislike summer though yeah like they, they don't dislike summer, they they hate the heat. Heat, yeah. So that's that's, that's a fair one. And also, direct sunlight is, is harsh sometimes. Like, nice cloudy day, but warm. Cool. I also feel really guilty making videos in the heat. Oh, yeah. Because you should be having fun. Yeah. We could, yeah, you could do fun and video. <laughs> Amy Lou, exes can be friends without it being awkward. They can be friends without it being awkward, but I don't think they can be friends for long. That's like close as well. If it's like a if it's like a friend that you go and still go into the house having like tea takeaways and like you know maybe that's a bit weird, but casual friends, yeah, like you can you can not hate your ex. Yeah, sure. yeah, fully. You know, but I don't think how you do. You can't go to the cinema with your ex. No. And still, if you're still if you're trying to look for a relationship. Yeah. Well, you could we could get in a, in a group. You could. I think that's fine. Yeah. It's like four or five of you. It's like yeah, we're, we're, we had a, we had a friend group, so we're not going to ruin the whole friend group. For that. Yeah, but it also depends on how long you're dating for. Like if you. If you date someone for six weeks. Oh yeah, that's fine. I was gonna say the opposite. Really? I think the shorter, ah, if it's a really quick thing, like if, if you dated someone for like six months yeah, and then you're trying to hang out with them, it is a little bit awkward, I think. But if you hang out with them for so long. Yeah, yeah. Like years. Yeah. Then you could be friends. Yeah, because you're like- you Or know, very yeah. short, you could be friends. Because you're like- but we, that middle period. We, we got on really well, but we realized that this part didn't work out. But yeah. we did, obviously, we were together for so long that the friendship part was there. Yeah. That was real, you know? Yeah. Whereas a short one is like, it's just a little, like- Yeah. It's just a fling and now, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Rachel, Jordan won mids better than Jordan won highs. I agree. Yeah? To where? I don't like high tops. Fair. For like it's a bit too much. If you're not is that an unpopular opinion? I don't know. Well, Rachel, I don't know. I feel like Sam's, just, calling, Sam's calling you no, out. No, I here. just think that's like a that's a proper just normal preference. Yeah, that's no, true. I just, think a lot of people like that. Yeah, because yeah, aren't the high tops for for, for for play basketball? I, yeah. Originally, maybe I don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. Sean Philly is not better than Chris, Toby, Theo, Simon, Manny, Noah, or Ethan at football. He's not even top seven. That is outrageous. <laughs> YB is, is got some hate in him, man. He, he woke up and thought, you know what? He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> um, I haven't seen Philly play that much. I haven't seen any of them play that much. Well, you've seen Toby more than anyone else. Yeah. Chris. I think Noah and Manny are better than Philly. Mm. Theo. Theo, Chris, Toby, and Philly. Ethan's done very well to get in that list. I know. He's he, definitely he, he better than Ethan. That, right? I'm sorry, but he's better than yeah, Ethan. Yeah, he plays in the league, but he will yeah. also say all oh, these are better than him. It depends on the day, I think. Like, Theo can be better than Chris, Toby, and Philly. Well, you, we, we, with a good hip as well. Yeah. Chris, charity matches hasn't, like, the second one, he was really good. But yeah. the other ones, he, he hasn't. beat Noah in the most recent one. He ran away from Noah. <laughs> 
But like Toby is a really good person to have on your team. Who, who would be in your seven aside YouTuber? In my seven aside YouTube football team, who would I have? No, no, I'll go YouTubers. Like no, yeah, I'm not going to take any of the. Do you include Noah Beck in that? Uh, no. Okay, I would have. Why? He's he's not YouTube. He's probably got, got on his channel. Let's okay, see got. He does YouTube. He does YouTube. UK okay, UK YouTubers. Your seven aside football team. You're one of them. Oh, thank you. No, no, on your team. You're not oh. mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I don't know who I'm having in goal. Uh, doesn't John can't now? It's a, <sighs> Chris is John. Well, sorry. <laughs> could be. He, I mean, he could. If he counts, I'd have him. Charlie Morley then. I don't know if he counts either because he's not playing. Oh, like right. he doesn't do YouTube in goal. Yeah. Kieran Carlin. Sure. Seven aside. He's actually you know good. He's really good. He plays in goal. Yeah. Kieran Carlin. No. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. All right. Um, then me is the second one. I'd have Manny. Yep. Manny, Chris, Theo, Toby. Chris, you. Theo, Toby. Philly. Philly. Why not? Just that, that list that they put. That is literally it. Yeah, I'd have that. I'm sure yeah, yeah, Wavi Shavin has done the research as well. Wow, Philly with the PH, you're nuts. I feel like we don't need to keep making this. Yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry. But that is, an, that is an outrageous opinion, by the way. The fact that you've put Philly is not better than... Yeah. Like, he scored the best goal in, in the charity match. Yeah, why are you sipping Haterade, man? Yeah. Sip some Prime. All right. Bethany, I like beans on pizza. <laughs> I just love how, like, that's not even... Like, that's not what we asked. <laughs> <laughs> Give us an unpopular I like one. beans on pizza. <laughs> Thanks, Bethany, but, uh, you know. To be fair, I reckon that's bang. That would bang. Uh, it, did you not see the Google Highest Pizza? But I think, it it, no, like, I think it needs to be more of a dip. Wait until you see this. Okay. They sell it in, like, shops. That looks disgusting. I know. <laughs> Iceland. <laughs> that looks disgusting. <laughs> type in type in Heinz uh, Iceland products. There's loads. <laughs> But also then remove pizza, man. <laughs> that Products. Uh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Fish and filled hash browns with beans in. Again, these probably do bang. They definitely bang. They look gross, but they probably, look. Uh, Heinz Creations Italian beans with a Z. <laughs> beans burgers. <laughs> I would love to do a video trying all of these weird ones. I'm doing a video similar to that yeah. with Talia because she never ate like... The really I like know what you mean. shit stuff. Uh, turkey, turkey dinosaurs. Or so she had them a couple times. At friend's house. They're definitely not her own house. Every now and then. Mm. It was the rare Every occasion. Every now and then. I feel like mine, my she rare occasion was like a really like bougie meal. That was the rare one. Mm. Whereas normally I'd have turkey dinosaurs. And then, smiley and faces. It. And it's amazing. Chicken Kevs. Whereas hers was the other way around. Ugh. Homemade all the time. And, so I want to have one where... She, she would have had smiley faces. I want to get a bunch of foods that I had when I was a kid, like pizza fingers, yeah. crispy pancakes, yeah. all of this yeah. stuff. British tapas. Then, what? That's what it's called, British Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, it's like yeah. a plate of beige British food, like yeah. smiley faces. Whoa. Like pizza fingers weren't beige. Crispy pancakes were kind of yellowy orange. Yeah. No, but it's, it's finger food. <laughs> I think on the color spectrum we're talking. <laughs> also, yeah. I don't... I. I'm always amazed at these things that happen in life when like you go through you go through TikTok or you go through Twitter and you see someone say something and like everyone in the country agrees that we did that as well as a kid. Yeah. And I'm like, how? Like like picky tea, for example. What? Pick, picky tea? Yeah, so like you're like hot summer's day, you're so that dad, dad's do barbecue. Oh like picky bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we would never even use that phrase. Someone just said it the other day. Well listen, man, you let's just say that your household is not the average household to live in. <laughs> we still had that. Well one why did you we just didn't call it picky bits or picky tea. What do you call it then? She's gonna put some bits out. Yeah, you probably call it like fucking. Yeah, go on. What? You're at twelve course tonight. You know, let's go. I don't know. Yeah. Mi nice. mi mi Michelin tonight. <laughs> Michelin star meal tonight. I've never had a Michelin star meal. I don't think. Yeah, that's what you think. Actually, maybe in a Simon video. Yeah. Anyway, no. So uh, picky tea. When, yeah. when would I? I'm just. I'm just surprised. I don't think I have. Not that I know of, anyway. Maybe I have. Hot but. summer's day. You got like little ham bits. You know, egg salad. Picky tea. Picky tea. Pringles, Dritos or something. You know, there as well. Okay, next one. Dan Kendrew. Teslas are bad. You're wrong. Well, you don't need to get personal, man. He's just, he's just wrong, though. But now, look, he's got a fucking... Look, he's got a fucking uh, lorry as his proper picture. <laughs> Bro fucking loves... <laughs> Josh was as well. Josh was like, oh, don't you want to hear the noise? I'm like, I, I don't give a fuck. I yeah. don't care. Like, and I get it. I get, I get what you mean, guys. Yeah, apparently, you can't have this in the UK, right? 
The, the Cybertruck. Oh, I really want the Cybertruck. But yeah, but yeah, you know how wide no your point. car is. I know, there's no is. point. You try and go through those things in London. Yeah, yeah you can't they, do it. They've just started doing them. Like they're actually, they actually made them now. Nice. But nice. I just think, yeah, anyone who says, oh, I just want to hear this. It's like, you're going to buy a car for that sound for the first three yeah. weeks. Or you're going to buy one that you drive. Like, like Ethan bought his dream car. Sold yeah. it. Yeah, he did. But then he bought a sick one. Well, he always wanted, like his dream car was the Nissan GTR. Yeah, true. Oh, so that, that yeah, yeah. And, and then he well, got it. Yeah. And then Josh wanted the R8, bought it, drove it three times at our house and then sold it. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, well, you know, the yeah. sound, the sound is nice every now and then, but just fucking watch a video. <laughs> true, what do true. they have now? Are we allowed to know? Uh, Josh has a little hatchback and Ethan has a Lamborghini. Eurus. Eurus. To be fair, Eris. 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 To be fair like when Bez made that goal, he probably never thought he's ever going to get a GTR. Yeah. And then he did and got enough money. I mean, the Eurus was... Not even out. No, it was... Yeah, but it was also... It was like a four-day decision. Yeah, we was. were in... We filmed the video in... Dubai, right? LA. Oh, yeah. Where we got driven around in three cars. That was like our day. It was wherever we went, we got three cars. And he sat in that one and was just like, this car is so nice. Can I drive it for a minute? Drove it. Went home, went, I want one. And got it. Toby had been saying for four years, like, <laughs> the Eurus is the dream car. That's what I'm getting at some point. I even came home and just bought it. <laughs> yeah, true, true. It made Toby buy it. Yeah. And I also will say that like, I was so shocked when I found out how much that car was. I didn't think it was Euros. that much. Yeah, I thought yeah. maybe it was like, because like, JJ's Lamborghini, when he got his, that's like, like 68K, right? Am I right in saying something like that? No. The Aventador. I swear, Aventador. That. How much Aventador's? That's way more, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Was his one that much? I think it was near. I swear one was like 60k. I swear. I think his oh, insurance was. Though, I think. Oh, okay. I think his insurance was. Yeah, probably actually. <laughs> Harry had the Gallardo. That one is. But like he also had a special edition. Yes. It's not his, but yeah. Yeah, Gallardo. Yeah, okay. 60k yeah. to that. Okay, well, again, I don't look at Lamborghini prices. So. <laughs> but I know the Euros was funny. Um, next one. George says beaches are very overrated. Agree. <sighs> Hate them. Uh, oh. Hate them. Why? Let me play volleyball for 10 minutes. Let me play football. Kick a ball about five minutes. You don't like going in the sea, do you? Hate the sea. Oh, yeah, you do. It's Hate a bad you. version of the pool. What? It's better Salt version. water. Gross. There's things in there. Yeah. Gross. You also come out of it immediately on sand. That's the worst part. That is the worst part. Yeah. And, hope, and sometimes beaches provide the little, little taps though. I like that. Yeah. It looks like sand your feet off. It's just, Wait, yeah, what? beaches suck. Now look, but like, I, I used to go on beach holidays all the time as a kid and I miss them now. I, I went on holiday recently with my family and I actually leave before, the day before. I wanted to take half on the beach. For, and she loved it apparently. But I didn't get, didn't get to witness it. Aww. Bad dad, you know, like Jamie said. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck with you for so long. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. <laughs> Never forget that. Carlos, Christmas is no, overrated. No, 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 Christmas is Listen, not. Carlos, you made it, a big mistake. Here. It does get it does get a little bit overrated whoa, 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 when you're whoa. the older you get whoa, 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 without whoa, kids. Whoa. Yes, I know. I, I agree. I agree. By the way, it's like it was like the dream of Christmas. It's like Disney World. The dream is so good. You get to it, and you're like, damn, Auntie's a bit, you know, annoying now. <laughs> like, you grow up, you realize actually she's a fucking bitch. <laughs> no, I'm just, I don't mean that to any of my aunties. I'm joking. You're all blessed. But it's not as good as when you were a kid, you know? No, of course And yeah. then once you have a kid, I'm sure it's back to being amazing. When they get a bit there. When they get a bit Yeah, when they're like, when their first Christmas is probably just like... Last year we were like, you love it? You loving Christmas? And she was like, ah. <laughs> was she drowning? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, how old was she at Christmas? Like six months. Did she enjoy, I think she enjoy, this year she'll be sick. Yeah. Yeah. For like six months, she's, yeah, she, she doesn't know what Christmas is. I've out, so, taught her how to tickle now. Also, half her favourite Her song. how to tickle or how... No, I was tickling her. Okay. And then you do it. And she, now, she, now she goes, blah, 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 and tickles, tickles me. <laughs> um, but she actually started to do it on my foot now. Like, um, Are you ticklish? Yeah. <laughs> so like f f before I was, I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> JJ used to do it. Uh, uh, JJ tickles thought, you all the time. He pin me down. And I was like, fucking, and also I saw a TikTok, right? Did your, did your dad as a kid tickle, tickle you? Yeah. And did you go too far all the time? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what did you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> He tickled me, <laughs> tickled me the appropriate amount for a dad, I'd say. <laughs> that, that was funny. Then we all laughed. We should laugh more. But, um, <laughs> but I'm saying like, no, just tickling you, but like you, you, you panic. Stop panicking. No, I don't think oh, so. I saw TikTok. And, um, his name's, I'm not sure his name. He's just, the guy with like a mustache. 
handsome guy as well. He's like, stop it. It's like, you almost <laughs> killed me. Because I used to, used to tickle me and I used to get dead angry. Like, stop. And I'm uh, like, yeah. you're hurting me. Like, no, no, no <laughs> Funny. I know um, what you mean. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? I mentioned the JJ thing in the video the other day. I was reacting to something yeah. and there's a clip where you, you were in a go-kart and he comes over and starts tickling yeah. you. Yeah. And I was like, he has this weird obsession, especially with you. Yeah, where it's just like, me. if you're ever in a position where you're a little bit vulnerable, like you can't leave where you are, mm -hmm. like a seat where you're strapped in or whatever, he'll just do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, kind I, I of was, weird. Uh, <laughs> the worst time was on tour. Uh, I got like, pinned down by everyone and security and he, for him to tickle me. Oh my God. And I was, I was like laughing and but I'm, I'm like, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> yeah. You can't not laugh. Yeah. But no, um, Harper will just sit there and she'll take my foot and look at me. And, and I, I, I'm like, originally I was laughing fake, fakely. <laughs> now I have to actually laugh because it's tickly. I have to say stop. One point you're going to accidentally kick her. <laughs> probably will. You get a natural reaction yeah, to will. you. Like, yeah. Did yeah. that to my dog once. <laughs> yeah. Like, why is he tickling you here? So yeah. why is he filming in this frame rate? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I don't know. Why is he doing this to me? <laughs> you look like a victim. I am a victim. Bro, when JJ does it, you are. Hugging yourself. He was, he was in his boxes as well, which is the worst part. <laughs> it's because you're just in, that's in my office. You're just yeah, like. I, I think what happened was, I'm pretty sure on like, I don't know, on Reddit, it was like going to tickle Randall or something like that. Probably. I don't know. Anyway. Next one. Josh says, if you go out in your car topless as a guy, you're a wrong. No, not our Josh, by the way. Josh Stevens. Um, I, I, I think, unless it's a hot day, I also hate when people walk around topless. Not because I don't have the body for it, but I just feel like, it's just weird, man. Like, it is a bit weird. If it's sunny, fair enough, like tan, you know, whatever. I do think it, it cars a bit weird. Because this is like, especially if it's leather. Yeah. Seatbelt on, you know, you got like the stickiness. Whenever we've done a shoot where you end up like, super wet or like sweaty because you've been running or whatever. We, yeah. I remember, I always say to Ethan, I always say to the others, I'm like, oh, I'm backing this off and I'm just driving home without it. Yeah. And everyone's like, yeah, I'm going to do the same. And I don't know if anyone actually does. Because I don't. I always, oh. I always get to my car. <laughs> no, I get to my car and I think, this stinks. But then I'm like, do I want to just not wear a shirt and have the sweat out on my seat and everything? Because yeah, like, it might smell all the time. I'm going to take my shirt off and I'll drive home. And see if anyone's looking. I'm <laughs> not. No, no, no but, but I, I'm saying like. Right. <laughs> How have I been mocked for this? If you're a reason, if you got a reason for it, like if you're wet, then of course. Yeah. But then if. I, I, but even then, I don't. After in a, in in Avita, after the champagne, I took it off then. But I'm saying like just to go out to the shops. Yeah. Seat belts yeah. too chafy. Yeah. Chafy. Chafy. Yeah. Next one. For Josh, I feel you, Josh. Grack says people who can sing well should sing bad on purpose during karaoke. I do actually, and I'm not trying to call out Tali here, but I, I do, you know, people who can sing, you just start doing nothing and you start singing. I'm like, are you tr what are you trying to do? Like, <laughs> we get it. You can sing. She sings all the time. I so. know, but, but she's just practicing, right? Yeah, yeah, person. But, well, no, but some people do it on singing. purpose. Yeah. I think karaoke though, I hate, I mean, I hate anyone who tries to force anyone to sing because I hate it. I hate karaoke, mm -hmm. but Anyone who doesn't sing, everyone goes, come on, sing. Oh, don't be boring. Come on. But I then they'll that, do it yeah. to a good singer and be like, and then as soon as they start singing, they'll sit down and be like, oh, showing off. <laughs> yeah, you true. forced them yeah, to true, sing. True. I hate that moment when people force you to do anything. And I hate it because like, sometimes it's literally not because you, like, you, you're having fun, you're enjoying it. And someone then makes you feel bad for not having fun. And yeah. I'm like, actually I'm having fun. But like, I don't, I, sometimes I don't want to do that. The last time I went to karaoke, everyone tried to force me to do it. And I was having a really good time. As soon as they started forcing me to do it, I was like, I'm just not, I don't want to be here. Yeah. I want to go home now. And for me, like people go, oh, can you rap? They're like, rap for us. I'm like, no, what does that mean? Like, I was on a live stream the other day in Pokemon. They're like, oh, how much, how many, like, how many donations to the channel for you to start rapping? <laughs> My zero. Like, and also I can't do it without any music anyway. You, yeah. know what I mean? like, you should have just rapped. You should have just gone. Just I could so not stupid. think of anything more cringe than doing just that. <laughs> I think if I, I think if I started rapping, like that, I start crying. I probably, <laughs> with embarrassment, I think I, my eyes are like watering with how embarrassed I am. Okay. Uh, Soph asks, whoever asks the person out pays for the first date. I quite like that, you know? I think that, yes, I think, and by the way, I think in any situation, if you are the one asking someone to go out, not even just for a date, you should be willing to then pay. So if I said to you, do you want to play golf tomorrow? I should have to pay for you. No, I think more so, but no, but no, but you should be prepared to. Cause I, cause I'm, cause for example, I've been in a situation before where I've asked someone, cause you say no, they can say no. But then you go, nah, come on, man, come on, come on. So if you wanna go for a meal with someone and you're like, come on, come on, they might not be able to afford it or might not be able to budget in with their week or whatever. Yeah. And you're like, and you're like, oh, come on, please, man, please. You get if there, order this, order that, order this, they split it. And it's like, 
No, I get it or if you're pay for, pay for I, your own. I get it if you're pushing them to come. Yes, so yeah. So if I said to you like, "Oh, do you want to play golf tomorrow?" You're like, oh no, nah. like, no, nah, I'm all right. And I'm like, "No, nah, come on, like, just come to my own, blah, blah blah, play golf, whatever." Then I get it. Yeah, yeah. But if I said to you, "Do you want to play golf?" and you said, "Yeah," I shouldn't have to be even willing to pay for both of us. Yeah, and, and, and I agree. By the way, also golf's a bit of an extreme example because it's kind yeah. of quite expensive. But I'm saying, but like. I just think like, you know, sometimes when people force someone to come along to something they don't want to do and then they've got to pay for it as well. It's like, well, I don't want to be in it in the first place. And you'll yeah. you're be like, oh, you're boring, man. You're boring. Come out, come out, you know. But this, I mean, I think it should always just be 50-50. Someone yeah, can yeah. offer, but if, oh, if, yeah, yeah. if you ain't offering back, I ain't the one. Yeah. Leave, run. Isaac, socks are good at first when going to sleep, then they get worse. Yeah, I agree. If you wear socks when you sleep, that's weird. <sighs> I agree, but I used to be a sock wearer. I used, to look, uh, and I used to love it. I used to not be able to fall asleep without socks on. That makes sense. No, but I've changed. Yeah. Because I realised I, when I used to play Warzone. How can you change by accident though? No, no. I, I started, I like it. I, I, now I can't sleep with socks on. They feel so cl- trapped, so enclosed. And I like feeling the sheets rub between my toes. I love that now. In the air. Oh, I've got stories to tell you in a second. I'll tell, I'll tell it right now actually. Okay. Going to bed last night. Yeah. Spider. Oh. Yeah. Picked up some clothes yep. to move them and spider came out of it. Okay. And I was like, I cannot go to bed knowing that it's in here. So I have to kill it. Sorry, anyone who loves spiders. Uh, and it's, it, and you know what? The worst thing about spiders and on a carpet, you squash them. They just survive. They just they squish just, in. Yeah, this carpet just goes down with them. Yeah. So I, for example, like put my suitcase on top of it. Didn't do anything. You know, I had a candle. That's all I had. Candle. I was like, smashed it with the candle. It kept coming back. So what <laughs> I did in the end was I just like covered it with the candle and then stood on it the, on the candle a bit <laughs> and like did like this. Yeah. Uh, for those listening on the audio, I'm rotating my ankle, but it's my wrist, but I'm sticking yeah. to my ankle. Um, and then I was like, and I waited there like 10 minutes while looking at it, just to see if it came out. Cause I, did, I didn't open it again in case it screwed off quickly. Yeah. Um, then I put a, uh, a actually, you know, like a Mac Mini, Mac Mini box without yeah. the Mac Mini in it on top, trying to add some more weight to it <laughs> okay. and just went to bed. So even now it's still under there. <laughs> Fuck. Um, so I hope it's dead. Cause it's just, you know that stat where they say like seven spiders a year go to your mouth? Yeah. So apparently it's a myth. But I'm like, this spider is in my room. If I'm asleep, I, mean, I could crawl up me and go into my mouth. I feel like it's quite likely that, maybe yeah. not seven, but yeah, or maybe it's like a couple. And I just, yeah, I don't want that in my life. I don't want a spider in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ellie says, David Attenborough voice isn't soothing. That's just wrong. You're no, just, I agree. What? He's got a nice voice. And it's great entertainment to watch and hear him. But I don't fall asleep listen to it. Because he sounds like he's going to die. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, this fox. <laughs> I'm like, just bro. You know what? Sometimes she's got this isn't, this no, isn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This isn't at you, by the way. He's going to die now. <laughs> he's going to come out on the day he dies. And everyone's going to be like, look at this guy, man. How inconsiderate. <laughs> I was recording this, he ain't dead yet. This isn't, this isn't that you. If he dies on this day, said, what one? My, a big pet peeve of mine yeah. is when people do David Attenborough voice. Did I just do it then? Give you the no, 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 because you were taking the piss out. Yeah, of okay. But you know when people are like, they do, they, they do it and they're like, here we see a one. I'm I, just, it's not the same. Yeah, it's not. And as not. much as you can do a good impression, it's not agree, the same. It's not. Yeah, You're not an old man Just get doing it. to do it now. Yeah. yeah tap something in. Never do a David Attenborough impression. No. It's weird. Shelby, only go to a concert if you know all songs of the set. I disagree so much. Because sometimes you realize how good someone is. If you can enjoy a concert without knowing the songs, that they are amazing. Yeah, and sometimes you go to a concert just to experience them for the first time. You don't know who they are. You know, let's let's see them at their truest form live. Also, what I dislike, we had this at Post Malone. I don't, and I I partook in it while we were there because like you have to, but I don't like looking at the set list before. I hate it. What's the point? Josh does it. Yeah, Josh, yeah. Josh does it and, every and, time. And, and then he comes over and goes, oh, the next one's going to be this, by the and way. And I was the next one. And the <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah, and I enjoyed it at the time because I'm like, but then the reason I enjoyed it at the time was why I don't want to enjoy it. Also, it's the reason I don't, I don't watch trailers before movies either. Yeah. Like, if, you, if you're committed to go, then you don't need to watch a trailer. I hate people who do that. Yeah, People, true. I know someone who watches a TV show or a film, goes to the end first, watches that, then goes back. Ah. Yeah, no, that's not- Psychopathic, man. The fact they're in your life is weird. Yeah, enjoy the sh- enjoy <laughs> the concert, man. Like, you know? Yeah. The one time I did enjoy it as well was in, uh, what was the one we went to? The movie guy? Hans Zimmer. Yeah, I liked that one. That one was okay, because you 
sometimes you want to know what, what film is it, it what, is. I, yeah. What, yeah, what is And this? you see the set <laughs> yeah, and you're like, do I recognise that set? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's no, this. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's why. That's why. That makes sense. And also, if you know the set that you also know when it's going to end, and I hate that as well. Yeah. I've told you before my thoughts on comedy. Well, you see the whole thing of like uh, when when someone starts playing a song, like you just hear the first couple notes What's and everyone goes, what? Yeah, yeah. You don't get that because you're yeah. like, oh yeah, I know it's this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to know. Cheers, Josh. <laughs> that Taylor Swift, she does a different one-off song. She does a, a um, acoustic version of a different song every Mental. time. Mm, so yeah. no one knows. Imagine yeah. this though at Glastonbury if you had to know every single song by every artist. Well, that's the other thing is you, you're never going to know all the songs by... The support acts. True. So if you're going to, what? So I can't go see Drake yes, because Shelby. he's got someone else performing with him. Yes, yeah, Shelby. Now what? Now you look so stupid. Well, one of the, like, one of the best people I ever saw alive was actually not, not the top, but they were very good, was One Republic. They were a support act, but I don't know. Just, I knew Apologize and that was it. Yeah. And they came, they were like, yeah, we've been in the jungle writing this album. You should, they played you the should album. apologize for what you just said, actually. It was amazing. Nah. What? Why should I apologise? Because you fucking care about One Republic, man. Why? I'm joking, I'm joking. Too late to apologise. Who the fuck are you to say that? Too late. No, I agree. But it's just like, I feel like, I, I forgot they existed. They don't know you exist. I know. I, but I, don't, <laughs> I don't need them to. They can, you can say that about me. <laughs> but no, at the same time. Yeah, but if you, I really liked it. I didn't know any of the songs except that. And now you do. Yeah. But that's what, like. Name yeah. one of the songs from them. Uh, Fuck. Uh, yeah. Counting Stars that was a bait one I, I, I don't even know if you're correct so. <laughs> that's, that's a huge one that's, you'll know that song I probably do yeah is that featuring JLS no alright Luke Bryant says that stomach is better than arse and tits got a point by the way yeah but I don't agree but got a point underrated very underrated yeah very underrated yeah yeah Josh orange juice is so much better than apple juice <laughs> uh, wrong I, I just disagree. drink both and grow up yeah I like both yeah. In, in different days, I like yeah. the ones. Uh, sometimes, I, I, and also I don't want too much of one. You know what I love as well? I love going to a hotel. And, and look, well, one thing I hate about hotel drinks, for, so fucking small, the cups. Yeah. I just sit there and drink them more <laughs> before I sit down. But I like picking one. You've got water with a bit of cucumber in it, or you've got apple, orange. Sometimes you whack a weird one in, like guava. Like guava. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Do I say guava? I think I was wrong. Yes, you you don't pronounce it guave. Oh, oh. You say guava. What did you say? Guava. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you said guave. <laughs> I, 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 I thought you said you don't pronounce. Anyway, um, wh why would I say guava? Is it after a choice? Because right. that's very niche. I was about to say that. Yeah. Interesting. How the mind works. I saw a mind reading TikTok today. Did you do it on me? No. Oh. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. I was going to pretend to. Fortune teller. Uh, no, it was like this whole thing of this guy. Right. It's not going to work, but. <laughs> He, he makes someone pick a card, yeah. right? So pick a card in your head. Okay. Don't say it. Okay. So you know what it is. Yeah. Okay. Now tell me any other card in the set, that in the deck. Seven of diamonds. Okay. So what his logic was is men are really bad at lying, right? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm bad at lying. So his I logic can't, can't is lie. most guys don't change the, the color of the suit because they think that's too obvious. So you said a diamond. So it's probably a heart, the one you're thinking of. And then you went for a seven. So... It's probably uh, this this part I can't really gauge because he only said one part, but I would say it's probably like a jack or a queen or a king of hearts. What was it? Three of hearts. Oh. But I don't know if you got that right. <laughs> that <laughs> felt so worthless. <laughs> well, his logic was it was a ten, so th the person went to the other end of it and said eight. Man of was spades. a three, so I went seven because it's 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 um, double plus one. Why well, he? I only saw a quick TikTok, so yeah, I can. True. I haven't learnt the entire <laughs> art. Of that is why I went diamond. Really. Exactly. That is why I went diamond. Yeah, which is quite nuts. The fact I even got that. Jack, think of a card. Well, he knows it now. <laughs> yeah. Now I've said another one. Four of spades. You're thinking of two of clubs. No. I... Holy! I was thinking of two of clubs. No, you weren't. I was. I swear. <laughs> No, you weren't. I I'm going to try this all week. I'm going to do this to everyone me. I'm going to go to this. I was thinking of two of clubs. Because you went double. double so you the same logic you did. Space. Yeah. So club, but then half it. Mad. Yeah, I fell for it. Okay. We can do this in, in life, you know. Yeah. Try it with like Talia. Yeah. Okay. Jamie Cross. Should we do this as the last one? Yeah. Having a shit after the shower is better. So wrong. Ugh. That's disgusting. <laughs> Why would you go clean yourself to then dirty yourself? What, Jamie? You need to be tested. That's so odd. I really don't like this. I, Jamie's made me feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, can you see one more? Oh, nice. Next one. Yeah, that's a bit... Inez 
Farts well, Loki smell good. Your own do, not others. Some, you know it's bad when yours smells bad though. Yeah, yeah, of course, You know, yeah. sometimes you fart and you're like, oh you my go, God, you should that go hospital reeks. if that's the case. You've never had it? No. You've never had a fart of your own? No, uh, yeah. Where you're literally there, you're like, yeah, oh, it stinks, I can't stay here. I can't remember the time I did it. I, mean, I, don't, remember, I don't remember the exact time. Oh, yeah, no, no, but yeah. I'm but as in, like, I know it's happened yeah, multiple like, oh, times. Oh, that was a bad one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As in, I don't even want to stay there. So I'll Should fart near someone and then move. I'll run away. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but also, also, I can know if, if it's bad. Like, it doesn't affect me the same, but I know if that's bad. You know, nah, I've had ones where it's like, I can't stay here. No, I, I, I do agree. Yeah, just, just different yeah. situations. All right, our last topic for today. Yeah, an interesting one. We've got 23 emotions people feel but can't explain. I feel like John was in his feelings when he wrote this. Well, how are we going to read them if they can't explain them? Yeah. Sonder. Sonder, the realization that each passerby has a life as vivid and I get this all the time. I do as well. I hate it. NPCs. They yeah, but then you, not. Th- yeah. They're not. And, they, and they're all you. Yeah. Inside. But I'm thinking no one's going home and like doing stuff. <clears throat> I still think I'm the most important person in life, right? You are to you. Yeah, I know. Well, you have a child, so maybe not. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, I think. Thing is right, you know. When, when I was a kid, and my mom was like, "Life doesn't revolve around you." I was like, "Yeah, but it does, though." Your life does. Yeah, I'm like, literally, that is literally my but life. But life and existence doesn't. No, but I, I, okay. What I'm saying is, I don't know that. Yeah. I don't, all I know is who I am. You could all be props. True. The Truman Show, but True. fake. So I don't know this. Like, obviously, I'm be nice. Truman to, Show, but fake. I'm be nice to the people because I think someone's watching me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's nice. But I'm saying, I'm saying, like, you could be you, and I could be you fake. That could just be your imagination. That could be yeah. a dream to you. Yeah. You don't know this. This could all be a game in the future where someone's come back to live at this time. Imagine. Imagine we're Whoa. just Sims. Oh. Okay, well, we got, we got Opia. The yeah. ambiguous intensity of looking someone in the eye which can feel simultaneously invasive and vulnerable. Feel that, Tor. Feel that. Just had it then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking at me, man. <laughs> Monochopsis. The subtle but persistent feeling of being out of place. Mono- I'd say monocopis, no? Fair. Um, monochops, monochops. feeling of being out of place. No, I get uh, that. I get it. Yeah. Uh, not the other two. That one didn't wow me. Try and read this next one then. Inurement. So what, what was that? That dot between the other E. Don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe it's Might just anomen. be on the screen. Ano- Might just be a dot on the screen. No, it's not. Bits of sweetness of having arrived in the future, seeing how things turn out, but not being able to tell your past self. No, I think a robot wrote that. Velikor, Velikor, the strange wistfulness of used bookshops. That's probably you, mate. <laughs> I bought where's one your book, book. Where's your book today, man? I didn't bring it because uh, I was going to get laughed at. Yeah, good. You are you are stopping my education. No, I'm sorry about the that. The next, you know, when I when I see right when I see Harper carrying a book ever, she never um, will. Huh? She'll never carry a book. She's never going to read a book. The only time she'll carry a book is she's, she's like at home and going from the sofa to the other side of the if room. If I see her holding a book ever in my life, I'm going to go. Your dad thinks you're a fucking loser. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> it's true. No, only in public. No, nope. if she's in, if she's at home, no. Nope. If, if, if I'm there, you can walk around at your house. If with a I'm book. there, it's in public. You can walk around a, your house with a book. Yeah, if you I'm at around. your house, that means yours is now public. True. No, okay. But by the way, I still need to read the book. Well, I've already burnt it. So, <laughs> rubitosis, the unsettling awareness of your own heartbeat. I hate this one. Oh. I rarely ever get this. I hate this one so much. Do you have a thing, right? Do you ever? So sometimes when I'm lying in bed, yeah, and I put my head on the pillow. You can hear yourself, yeah. You can hear your heartbeat. Yeah, of course. But it sounds like ants marching into my brain. That's weird, yeah. That's no one else? It's really weird. No, no, you can hear your pulse, obviously. Yeah, but I, it sounds like... Like, imagine... Ants marching into your imagine ear. Imagine, like, if you could put a mic... You know the film Ants? Yeah. When they all start marching. And also like, know marching. what ants are. Yeah, but when they start marching, if you right. could put, like, an ASMR mic in that, and they're all marching, so you'd have, like, a unified, clump, like... There's a clump, clump, clump. Clump. Yeah, but it's half time though. But that's what I hear. I think your heart's maybe wrong. <laughs> no, because I still have like a normal heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. Not like boom, 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 boom. Not like that. It's like well, your heartbeat beats twice when does it, it. it goes. Dun, 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 oh right, okay. Dun, dun, sorry, yeah. Oh dun, dun. yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm wrong then. My mine doesn't. <laughs> yeah, maybe your heart's wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. this marching scene. Yeah, no. I, I think- hear that as my heartbeat. I fucking hate this movie. I'll tell you why. It's just B Tech Bugs Life. Fair. They just didn't animate the ants right. Kenopsia, the oh. <laughs> eerie, forlorn atmosphere of a place that is usually bustling with people, but now abandoned and yeah. quiet. Yeah. By the way, that was fucking COVID. I remember I had one cab journey, sue me, where COVID <laughs> was activated, um, and 
London was empty. And yeah, I, was I don't like, think that gave me any eerie feeling, though. I, it was super eerie. It's like, what? It's this place we've all known be as busy as hell, and I can't see a single person, not a single soul. I don't soul. think it made me think eerie, though. I think it made me, like, more amazement. Yeah, yeah. But it, I, I can also see why. If you, okay, if you weren't in a cab and you were on the street, that'd be weird. I did. Okay. I, I went on a, you know when you're allowed, like, exercise? Oh, yeah, that's me too. I jogged. <laughs> I jogged from <laughs> Centre Point down Oxford Street. Yeah. And I jogged however long, like say like four or five K or whatever, and saw about six people in the whole thing. Yeah, okay. And that's the busiest street you in London. Didn't feel eerie at all. No, I was more like this is like, this is amazing. Yeah. This is you can both both spectrums are there. Right, you read the next one, number eight. Yep. So we have Mauerbauer Traugit Kite. <laughs> that was decent. No, Mauerbauer Traugit Kite. An explicable urge to push people away, even close friends who you really oh, like. That's oh, just I, deep. I, I thought it was like push urge people, to push people into the yeah. middle of the road. <laughs> you have that? Way. No, but I have like <laughs> I want to run myself into the middle way of the sofa, of the motorway. <laughs> all or right. Put, or, put, or put a knife into a toaster. Okay. There's a phrase for that as well. Intrusive thoughts, right? Yeah, lapel de vide. Oh, That's a French thing. No, I like that one. Lapel de vide. Yeah. Sounds smarter than intrusive it's thoughts. Like the yeah. Call of the void. Yeah, yeah, intrusive yeah. thoughts makes you sound like a serial killer. But, I, but again, again, I think this is your brain telling you not to do it. I think I read that. That's what it is. Because I used to have the same thing about um, Harper and my balcony in my flat. Yeah, I know you said. Yeah, and, and it was it was not. It was like more like don't go near the balcony. So it's it's a good thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying it's, it's crazy though. And like, like don't put the knife in. <laughs> Juska, a hypothetical conversation that you can compulsively play out in your head. I have this all the time. I told myself it's, I don't have like, I don't have like a no not with yourself. Oh, as in like. Oh, if I go tell Nick right now oh, yeah. this, oh, he's gonna reply I this, and then I'm gonna get it. pissed off, and then I'm gonna do that. Oh, I hate when you think how I hate when you have a conversation that's gonna go well, and you go to the person, bring it up, and they're just like, no. I'm like, well, actually, I had shit to say. <laughs> I pre-written my lines, and you're not letting me. Well, get that's my lines. that. Like the you've had a conversation in your head. Yeah, but then you can't go back to the back to the <laughs> no, story. You should have said this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, chrysalism. chrysalism. Yeah. The amniotic tranquility of being indoors during a thunderstorm. That. Yeah, that. that's quite nice. Have you seen? There's something in, I think, America or somewhere, or Australia. I don't know. Maybe Google it. It's worth looking at. Oh, I'll tell you what it is first. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like... <laughs> what am I um, Googling? They, they, it's like a spa or something that simulates oh, a storm. Oh, Italy. Yeah, yeah, I've right? seen that. I've seen sick. it. Sick. We probably all did. It's probably on puberty or something. Yeah, shit, I was going to say. I think everyone's... Yeah. But we're so basic Instagrammers, man. Fucking well, we, we know that it's basic, so we don't what? bring it up. Yeah, what, what, what? <laughs> true. It just looks sick though, doesn't it? What I hate as well, by the way, is everything that anyone ever links you on Instagram is like, it's going to be busy now. Yeah. I'm like, it's like, if you're linking me, yeah. everyone else is yeah, going to Yeah, and, and, and there's nothing worse than going to, and they always go, look at this sweet spot that no one knows about. And then you get there and it's just queue. Yeah. And I hate queuing. Not because it's not, not, not being entitled, uh, entitled but, but just hate queuing. Yeah. If something's worth queuing for, it's not worth queuing for. <laughs> like that, and there's Tombstone or something. <laughs> Is there a few more? Uh, Verma Darlin. No, that's 23. All right. The frustration of photographic... Uh, we need to count now. Oh, yeah. So we can do 13. We can. The frustration of photographic something... What? Something amazing when thousands of identical... Yes. I have this all the time at, at concerts. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I'm, I'm also like... I get, I get film in the moment. I do get it. Because sometimes you want to film and look back at something. I get it. Once. Yeah. You don't need to film the whole concert. Yeah. And also, I've seen people... I saw it at golf. Rory Macro was about to hit his shot. Or tagged it, and everyone's filming it. I'm like, why don't you just like watch it at home? Because also, I would rather see myself on TV watching it, yeah, than look at my POV of what the shot was. And also, I hate when people are clearly friends and both filming. Yeah, like, just one of it. you film it and send it. Send it, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the same when you go see someone in a concert, and like, so my rule is always, okay, I'm gonna take one picture and I'm gonna film Five fifteen yeah, maximum, yeah, 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 maximum yeah. fifteen yeah, seconds yeah. of. Maybe my favorite song. Yeah. But then there's this urge. I don't do it, but there's an urge to like, I film a song and say Drake. Yeah. And I do, I don't know, uh, started from the bottom. Don't yeah. know that song, but what? Yeah. So I film that. And then two songs later, he does a song and I'm like, I fucking love this song. I want to film that one. True. And I just get that over and over again. Yeah. I mean, you can, I think again, it's but then fine. Why? To, yeah. why? Why do I bother? I'm ne I've never, I don't think I've looked back at videos of concerts. There's, there's one in my head and, Two total. One was Kanye and Jay-Z coming up on those big stands. Yeah. I'll probably go and watch that again soon. But not the whole thing. Just like watch like, oh, that was sick. And then I filmed one of um, Post Malone. I fall apart. I thought that was really nice. So I watched that back. But. but I, and I will say, I, I literally will watch it back. Okay. I filmed that with, no, I, I want to watch this moment because it was so good. 
but I feel like so many people are just there the whole time. Yeah. And I'm like, that's like, but my logic is someone's filmed it better than you. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So why not watch theirs? I agree. And then enjoy if, the moment. If you don't know them, then you're Because if you're like, if you're like, okay, I'm watching this moment back because it was so sick. The moment you're watching back, you didn't enjoy that much because you were just filming. Yeah, and I agree. Yeah, yeah. What about people who film themselves at a concert? Like want to do selfie of their face. Well, they do the same. They do the same thing every time where they're like, say, Fall Apart's playing. Yeah. They're filming themselves and they're like, oh, I fall apart, dancing around. And as soon as they stop filming, face down, True. looking at their phone, figuring out what they're going to capture it like yeah. that. And then they're not enjoying the rest of the song. Yeah. There's a spectrum. It's okay to take a photo. It's okay to also video. But then I'm like, if you're doing it the entire time, then it's what's the point. And, then, and I also think like, it's just, it's also sad when you, when you look at a video and you see everyone filming. Yeah. I hate that. I'm like, and it's always being filmed as well. The one thing I hate though is when, so when we saw David Guetta in Ibiza, yeah. I took a photo and I was actually taking a photo of David Guetta. Yeah. But in the photo, everyone's on their phone. Yeah. And part of me really wanted to caption it with the whole, ah, uh, you know, like, did anyone film it or something like that? Yeah, but, you, but then I'm like, I'm one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but I can't. I also took a photo of that, but I went like this. So I was watching, so I was listening, I, I just put my hands up, took a photo. And, and made a weird again. sound effect. Yeah, I, I kind of wish I didn't do that. Anecdote. A conversation in which everything, everyone is talking, but nobody is listening. Every, so every conversation? No. I'm not saying everyone likes the sound of their own voice more than the person they're talking to. I like yours more than mine. Are you just saying that? No, I do. I, I, hate, I hate my voice. Oh. Yeah. Last one, barely. Wait, hold on. Go down a bit. Can we get 14? Nah. No, that's okay. That's all right. Ellipsism. Ellipsism. A sadness that you'll never be able to know how history will turn out. Well, I didn't have that until now. What? I don't get so it. So you don't know how history is going to turn out because you're going to be dead. Yeah, because it'll be rewritten by people in the future. So, so we don't know like what this will be in like 100, 200 years because we'll be dead. But also, okay. we, won't also we won't know. Oh, so you, the sadness of not knowing how the present will be perceived in the future. Yeah. But okay. also, I think this probably also counts. You don't know what 100 years is going to be looked at in the future. So we know what the 1800s were like or 1900s were like. We're, ne we're never going to know what this is or the future is going to look yeah, like in okay, the past. Yeah. I'd love to know what this era is like in a thousand years. Oh, fuck, man. Now I'm sad. I didn't, like, didn't know this until now. <laughs> well, there is one last one, number 14. Oh, it is nice. the fatigue generated by senseless violence. What? I mean, listen. No. I didn't like that one. Well, no, no. Violence is bad. What was the, what was your best one there? What was the what one hit you the that most? That last one just hit me the hardest. Yeah, the history one, uh, okay. the heart one. I, I, this whole time I've been hearing it from my heart, but go. I think mine was either the what was the first one, the first one all the time. Sunder the like, realization that each pass about. Yeah, yeah. I saw some as well. Although this one, I don't agree with. You know how like I saw someone on TikTok who had over a hundred thousand followers say, and they were filming a stadium that has a hundred thousand people in it, and they were like. Isn't this crazy that I have more? They weren't doing it in a cocky Yeah, yeah, but this is, yeah. if you put it into And I agree, that is true. But also, that's not how followers work, though. Like, it is way nah, more. No, but it still, it still hits you, like. Yes, but, like, they all don't, like, your followers don't just sit there. No, I know, but, like, the first time I went to Wembley, for example. No, you think, yeah, yeah. And I, it was, like, however many seats that, say, 80,000, just for these. Yeah. I was, like, okay, that's 80,000 people. If 500,000 people watch your video, yeah. think how many. No, Picture it as that. Yeah. I know it's that's not how it is, but like that's how that's the only way you can like see it as a scale. Yeah, I, I do. Th I do think of it as well because, like, for example, I was watching that video and thinking, "Wow, only hundred thousand. I've got five hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, imagine that time fight. But no, but I know what you mean. Like, but also, also, it's net. It's different. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Number seven, I think, also hit me the Juska one. Go down like that, if you can, Nick. I think, it was, I think it was number seven. No, uh, or nine. Uh, no, You're nine. So wrong. Yeah, the hypothetical conversation. Oh, not for me as much. Oh, all Maybe the your time. brain goes different than mine. Yeah. So like does. Yeah. Mine's the little monkey doing this. <laughs> <laughs> hit a symbol inside of my head. Well, yeah. Um, let us know which one hit you the most. And I guess we call it there for today. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, Chip, you know, is what it is. No hard feelings. <laughs> what we do now, hate you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we'll do it soon. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace, peace, peace.